What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. This is my boy, Gadam Slink. How you not doing now? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Let's talk about Kenya and Nigeria. I've been looking through the internet and see, and I see some Nigerians already agitating and saying that, oh, Nigerians can do exactly what Kenya did, coming out to demand good governance from their leaders, you know, protesting and forcing their leaders to even scrap some salary, some budget of some government officials because of the massive protest and because of the agitation and uh, pressing the neck of, the, for, of their government to implement some things in, in, in the history of uh, Africa government that has never been implemented before in Kenya. Which is fantastic, you know, courageous and everything. But do you honestly think Nigerians go feed one? Let's be honest. Do you honestly think in your mind, say Nigerians go feed one? Mm. Do you know how many ethnic groups that are in Nigeria? Do you know how many languages? Do you know how many, oh God damn, how many kings that are in Nigeria? Do you know how many chiefs that are in Nigeria? Do you know how many pastors that are in Nigeria? How many imams that are in Nigeria with different opinions on things? With different opinions on things? Do you even know they don't even feel this hunger? Even if they feel this hunger, they don't feel it the way you feel it. They don't see it the way you see it. Do you know how many Agberos that are in Nigerians? That are in Nigeria? Do you know how many? Do you know how many boy boy full Nigeria? Let's be honest with ourselves. Eh? Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, eh? Honestly speaking, I am not agitated for anything. We have learned our lesson before during the answers. You saw what happened over there. You saw how different ethnic groups were saying, oh, this one are saying rubbish. This one they protest, other person they counter the protest. You go protest, your brother for your hour go counter your protest. You go they shout for food, your brother go test it alive, food no deal, but but no be fought. All those kind of stuff, guys. Eh? I beg, I saw, I saw a lot of tweets and I'm just laughing at you guys. I see people, they don't do anything that they do. Honestly, it's painful. I'm not making a joke of the situation of Nigeria, but that is just the clean fact. Clean fact. If you think Nigeria can carry out what Kenya did, Nigeria no know who they're supposed to owe. Nigeria no know who they're supposed to. Nigeria have not even held their local government. They never even demand for good governance from their local government, chairman, from their politicians in their village, from their governor, from their senator. Talk more of doing it in a in a in a national way. They don't even know who to hold responsible. They don't even know to who is responsible. Who, uh, okay, if I ask you, if I should ask this question, who you now won't fight? Let's, because you should start from somewhere and ask, who you now won't fight? Who? You should say, you'll be so surprised, eh? eh? Even you may they try. Make you get one house now for somewhere. Struggle to build out your house somewhere. If agitation starts, somebody will come and break your house and take over your house. Because they feel every trying guy out there is our problem. You see, and everybody working in the streets, they don't see the government as their problem. More. They see every little guy may get dying, may get small money as their problem. That your small house that goes scatter them. I'm just saying, it's, it's, not, it's just that we don't know what's up. For example, check out some group of young men, individuals, who organized a unity demonstration to support EFCC. They said EFCC is doing a great job and those planning to protest against EFCC are criminals. Check it out. Great Nigerian people, today we have convened on the grounds of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission 
representing the over 120 million Nigerian young and middle-aged citizens. We own this country and will not give room or space or legs for criminal entities or elements. Fiendish individuals sponsored by fifth columnists who are trying at all costs to ensure that Nigeria remains in the murky waters of backwardness. Great Nigerian people, yes. great Nigerian people, yes. this is our nation. Yes. It is ours to defend, it is ours to rescue, and it is on our shoulders as young Nigerians to ensure that we navigate the country to where it should be. All over the world, no country has developed or advanced faster than the integrity, the will, the strong will or determination of our youth. As Nigerian youth... He said he's representing 120 million Nigerian youth. 120 million Nigerian youth, that's what he said. You will now for your center go say, oh, he's lying. He's lying. But this guy get back up. He has a lot of backup. He has a lot of people who think exactly the way he thinks. So this guy, I mean to say, somebody made the door harass for inside hotel. Me he just did there on his own to flex. He's not a criminal. They harassed him. That person is also a criminal for saying, EFCC, why did you do this? All I'm saying is that uh, we Nigeria youth, uh, we are one of the most divided people on heart. Whether you believe it or not, we are one of the most divided people on heart. You understand? It's quite unfortunate. It is not what we wanted. But they have been able, they have succeeded in a way, eh? they have succeeded in a way that you see her now, you see as it be now. Check the Nigeria system and tell me, do you think anything can come out of it? Eh? Do you think? Um, we should know who we, we are going to hold responsible for our misfortune. So. Because I believe so well. Eh? Even the small ass make I get here, eh? we'll be claimed, we'll be, we'll be taken over by someone. Who doesn't know I, I am not his or our enemy? Who doesn't know I am not part of the people who are eating their money? But because I they drive good car, if there's any form of protest before on, on the street, don't they demolish cars? Cars of people, maybe they also, maybe they say they're hungry like them. Private owned small shop, maybe they manage buy cars. None of them go still go demolish. We know they ever hear say the demolition, government motor, all those things. Now only few. Because those people don't know the who, who, who those people don't know who they do them. They don't know. They don't know. They just feel like once you do they drive good motor, you are part of the problem. If you are a hustler, you are part of the problem. I don't know who do us. I don't know who divide us like this, honestly speaking. This is a perfect ground for any politician to succeed. So, honestly, we can never be a, like Kenya. Sorry to say. Sorry to say. I don't mean to offend anybody. I don't mean to say it in the harsh way. But, now the truth be that. Now the truth be that. Now the truth be that. No, you look at it now. Look at it now. Reason now. Reason now. Reason now. Who they go our farm, go they destroy our crops. Who they go our farm, go destroy our crops. When our old kings for our own village, no go they act. And even though they act, one or one of person you see come out of there. In a country, we have so many kings. Show me one village that doesn't have a king or a chief. Show me one village. So many kings, so many divert, different opinions on things. So many pastors, so many imams, so many politicians occupying, so many seats they are not supposed to be occupying. So many political differences. Ah. 
if we protest, we protest and we have been protesting before, but at the end of the day, we discover that we protested wrongly. Yeah. We discover, we disco see, if Nigeria feel forget answers matter, eh? forget. Eh? Forget. But I'm just giving you my few uh, take that, ah, I know things say they go feel duamo, I beg, I beg, I beg. Honestly speaking, mm -hmm. Nigeria, my great country, we will succeed. Uh, we will uh, attain great height. That is my prayer. I always have hope for this country. Because a man without hope, eh? a man without hope is a goner. Why are you living if you do not have hope? The hopeless are gone. So I have hope in the country and I have hope that things will get better. That is the only thing I can hold on to. Honestly. I don't mean to disrespect anyone. I don't mean to come on anyone's toes. But that's just my honest opinion.